gosh, cookies, what's going on? If you're new here, you might want to hit that subscribe button because you're going to find out you're going to want to stay more than just one night with me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm that kind of girl. Anyway, listen, my name is Carolyn Gray. Welcome. We talk about all things in and around fashion, lifestyle, and we like to have a good old kiki and laugh, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, today I want to talk about a topic that I've actually had on my list to do since last year when I did, or maybe it was the top of this year, I don't remember, but I talked about least worn items in my closet that I purchased in 2023. To this day, one of them still even has its price tag on it, but um, I probably worn one of them a bit more since we had that conversation, but I thought about it. You know, I do this with my clients when I go into homes and do wardrobe edits or when I'm styling them for specific events coming up and whatnot. The conversation always comes up. There are items in our closet that are hard to style for us, even though when we first saw it, in store or online, we were in love and we impulsively just bought it without thinking about several different items that it can roll with in our wardrobe currently. So, you know, sometimes it happens. We we buy things impulsively and we're like, you know what, I love that frilly ass jacket, but I didn't even think about what pants I was gonna wear with that. Cause what I don't that color is throwing me off. Something about it might throw you off once you receive it, but you still love it, but then it just sits there over time. And I have quite a few pieces like that. So one of the things that I always tell my clients is when you have an item that's hard to style, pair it with something that you truly love within your wardrobe. Don't think about silhouettes, textures, colors. Just try it. Try it with another beloved statement item. So I'm going to see how that holds true for me because, you know, I feel that the last few years I've been shopping intentionally, but last year I made a couple purchases. I was just like, what the hell was I thinking? I just, what pressure, what under pressure was I feeling? So let's see if my advice can be applied to me because how often do we give advice and not take it ourselves? And then when we finally take it ourselves, we're like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm a goat. <laughs> I knew how to do this the whole time and it's been several months that I've been struggling with this. So anyway, let's get into it. I think the first item that actually I did not purchase in 2023 is, so I found this helmet laying leather jacket at a Uke's clearance sale or sample sale whatever it was in the city that they had it is something that you know when i first saw it i was like oh my god i love that jacket i love it so much right but then i also was sitting with it like why do i feel a little bit of hesitation with this jacket something's up something's up but for the price that it was i was like i can't pass this up it's a great leather piece i love how they kind of like aged it in certain spots like i just i love leather so i just like how this kind of rolled and i'm not actually mad at this fit right here but i have not worn it i think maybe just once or twice and then there are certain attempts that i've tried to wear it and it just didn't work let me go to my go-to pieces that i think might work with this to see if it jumps off brb all right i'm not mad at this combination i love the tan and the olive green mixing in together but I could do keeping it neutral I'll wear these Balenciaga night food y'all I have not tried this combination and I really like this. This is definitely my vibe. Hold on, hold on, let me get a purse. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is, my bag is stuffed. I have my, <laughs> I have my things ready for the day after I finish this video um, in this bag. But yeah, I like this. It's a neutral color story. I feel comfortable. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I have these pants for this top. Okay. Yeah, this, all right, the theory is theorying. <laughs> 
statement piece or beloved piece with an item that you are having hesitations with. Yeah. So next I'm going to try a combination where this actually works as a jacket because I don't know what it is about me. Sometimes I get in my way when it comes to issues like this where I'm like, no, it's supposed it's it's meant to be a fitted shirt. It's a leather fitted shirt. Really, it's a jacket that can be a shirt. So let me break my head <laughs> and try that as like a with the t-shirt and classic jeans underneath because that is one of my go-to outfit formulas. So one of my go-tos lately have been YTs, but these jeans from Mousy Denim, Mousy Vintage. This is one of those things where like, I saw the silhouette online, I went in person to get it. It's a couple of sizes up from my normal and it just works. Like I just had this idea for slightly ballooned, but oversized jeans, right? So let's pair it with the jacket and see if I genuinely like it because I feel that this is also a obvious combo. But I love it because it's not your regular style of denim. It's a little bit slightly out the box as far as the color and the fit to me. Let's see. These are some shoes from Zara. Just a neutral mesh pair that honestly has been going well with a lot of different pieces that I have. Um, it works just nicely as a jacket. I don't know why it took me so long to figure this one out. This is silly. This this is just simply silly. I, wow. Yeah, it's, it's clean cut. She's really cute. I'm not even mad at it. And any kind of neutral tone bag or black bag, even my purple Balenciaga bag can roll with this. The new Bottega. This is silly. Why did I? Well, honestly, truth be told, I, I haven't had this white t-shirt very long. This is from Banana Republic. I love how these fit. Um, and I just got these jeans as well. So, okay, I really like the Dark Park cargos and these jeans with this jacket or as a shirt. And I would like it as a shirt with this with these jeans too. I really feel like we're just hanging out in my room today playing dress up. But listen, the other thing I was thinking about too when it came to this particular item in the bunch and a pair of shoes that I actually have hesitations with. Sometimes I think that certain colors or certain browns, certain tans or pinks do not look good on me. And I actually came across, um, Alyssa Lenore talked about this when she went on a trip overseas where they did like a color analysis against her skin tone and her hair and basically told her what colors naturally just flow with her, whether it's cool colors, warm colors, gold, silvers, rose gold. So there's a person in the city, I came across their page the other day, um, I actually wanna book an appointment with to see what colors work well with me and what works against me because I do think there's something about this color, like it's it's, a neutral natural palette yes but I also feel like this may not really be my color and I think that might be the reason why I was having issues with styling it from time to time I don't know I could be wrong but I think it would be really cool to understand exactly what my skin tone is because <laughs> I don't know if I'm golden peach or neutral or cool toned skin like I don't really know but apparently there's a whole science to color analysis and you know how to look at your your skin and how to apply different colors, whether it be a fashion item or makeup to your skin. So I'm really curious about that. Stay tuned. I'll definitely um, put up the information for that color analysis person in New York at their studio. I mean, I think it's like $200 or $300 for the analysis, but it's a whole thing. Like it's a, it's a whole shebang. You get all different options and understandings about what your skin tone is getting. Okay, so the next item on the list is, I actually have two other jacket blazers. This Balenciaga Hourglass jacket was on my list of items that I barely wore 
in 2023 when I purchased it. I was really excited about it. I've always loved this silhouette. Truth be told, I, I didn't really love this color, but I felt like it was a staple option and it was on super duper sale. So recently I got it tailored a bit. I got a little bit taken off in the center of the back. So it's a little bit more hourglassy on me. And I have worn it maybe like two more times since then. I wore it with a fur coat underneath it, like a fur vest coat underneath it. But I still feel like she's not that simple. So I actually did want to try her on with these jeans. Hold on. So I had on the list to style this with the mousy. Maybe not with the t-shirt. Because you see with the t-shirt, it's very like matronly hold on let's take the t-shirt off and maybe just leave the skims bra on to see how that works but i also felt like maybe these jeans could be a pop it's something about the print on this jacket that just makes me feel so corporate i don't know um Okay, but I like it with no shirt on underneath it. I do like it with the jeans. The other thing about this jacket is I have to, I definitely have to wear cuffs because it is made with a shorter sleeve. The, the jacket is just made this way. All of them have a shorter length of sleeve. And I guess that's okay. Like if you're wearing a nice watch or a nice bracelet, like bang, 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 that makes a lot of sense. But it did kind of frustrate me because I typically like my sleeves really long. Um, but I do like this combination. So I do love the pop of red at the bottom. I'm going to put on my stack. I've been wearing my Tiffany's cuff with my mom's old silver cuffs as a full stack. And then I'll put my watch I actually don't mind this. This is pretty easy. Um, I actually really like this. Just a really simple fit. And you know, the type of wool that this is, I feel like it's a summer wool, so it's more breathable than a heavier version of this jacket. So it's more for spring and summertime. This is nice. I really like this. It's definitely better without a t-shirt underneath it. I feel like this is closed and shirtless underneath type of jacket. This is not the type of jacket that you wear with a full thing going on underneath. I think that's a bit too much. And granted, I'm not saying that these combinations would work for everybody involved watching here. <laughs> But this is my jam. I really like loose fitting clothing. I like being shirtless underneath a blazer. I feel like it's very sexy. It's my kind of sexy. And how I fight the short sleeveness, I don't typically really like for me. I just add my arm candy and we're good to go. I do have one more combination for this jacket, for this blazer. I can't remember. Hold on, let me come right back. Okay, so another option, and these are things that actually, when I'm thinking about styling some of these things, I do not try everything on before the video. I try it on while I'm on camera. So I literally just received um, my package from Line by K. I ordered this really beautiful, funky looking skirt. There's no elastic here. This is very stiff, just in case you had your eye on it but I love how it poofs out in like tulips in a way at the bottom, it blooms at the bottom. And I've been loving my white pumps, which I'm gonna do a video about how to style white shoes. I know that was requested, but um, I've been loving these and I've been wearing them a lot lately. And just trying to break them in because the back of this foot hurts my heel. I feel like I always have trouble with the back of my heel on my right foot with certain shoes when I'm breaking them in, it just always rubs a certain way. It's like, is that part of my foot a little bit thicker? Like, what's going on? Is it skinny? Like, what's, why does it rub so bad? But anyway, love this, this style, seriously, because it's like, it's corporate, but she's chic and she's out the box. 
So again, I knew I was going to love this skirt because I just like how it moves, how it flows. Um, I love it with a white pump or white flat. I like it with boots as well or a strappy sandal. Either way, I love how this skirt just kind of poofs out at the bottom, which is a, the ballooning trend is a thing this season too. Um, but I just like how it looks with the blazer because to me, this I could do if I'm going to like an interview for a publication or if I'm on a panel, I feel like this is a really confident look. And it's a play on the pattern, the black, the white, there's a little bit of both inside here. So, and then keeping the arm jewelry, this, this particular blazer, I have to have a cuff or something on my wrist to even out the fact that the sleeves are made short like that. And she also moved up the shoulder padding. The shoulder pads were, for some reason, it was either too up front or too backward facing and it made me look like I was hunched over so maybe it was too four so she moved this the shoulder pad for me as well but overall this one has been a lot more easier but I did want to try it with these com with this combination of um some of my newest pieces or my favorite piece or a statement piece so she's very cute and I would even do like a cool hat with this too but I digress. We're going to move on to the next blazer that gives me a headache. A big one. Okay, so don't mind certain parts of me that are not ironed <laughs> and whatnot. But all right, y'all might remember this from that video. Do y'all remember when I was going thrifting in New York City and I came across this Saint Laurent blazer that is very fitted on me. And I do think it was maybe like someone's uniform working with them because it just looks like one of those types of pieces, but it literally still has the second street price tag on it. How much did I pay for this? 80, 89 bucks. So obviously when I see certain brands in the thrift store in really great condition at great pricing, I'm like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. And I still haven't figured it out. So what I'm doing, I'm pairing it. Oh my God, look how look how small it is. Like y'all have never seen me wear a blazer that's this fitted up. I, I think because my hesitation is that I only ever wear oversized blazers. This is the first time I've worn something in this sizing probably since like high school or college. And I figured, let me pair it with like an all white base sheer t-shirt a little bit more fitted than my normal t-shirts pair of white cargos that i love especially for summertime and um a pair of bottegas with a nice like checkered pop on the bottom of the shoe there this like it's nice i don't like it i don't like it and this is like a go-to like i love a white t-shirt and cargos especially in the summertime especially in the summertime it, I don't like it let me see what it looks like on the shoulders this is just not my jam I think it's just too small I should have never purchased this I mean she's sweet over the shoulders but then it's like big back Susie and this thing I just I feel it's too fitted for my liking And like it's a it, it it's a vibe. I'm just not feeling it. This might go on my closet sale, y'all. This might really go on the closet sale on my website. I try to add things every other week on that site, but this looks like it's gonna be on that website. This blazer. Yeah, it's it's giving like Zara in high school scrunched up sleeves these are the types of blazers that actually get on my nerves when i see them in the store or on the website when they're scrunched up and have like gold but i don't like those blazers i'm sorry for those that do like them i just they're not my style something about them rubs me the wrong way i don't know what it is let me try one more combination i have written down to see but it's giving this is going in the closet sale because i it's pissing me off now I was gonna try and do like a 
fitted Oxford underneath. She's going to the closet sale. Same price I paid for. She's going to the closet sale. Y'all enjoy it. We're going, we're going, we are going to the next item of hardship for me. Okay, so another item on my list that I'm like, dang, this was actually I also purchased this with the Helmet Lang jacket at the youth's clearance sale these valentino gold mary jane heels honestly when you look at them you don't really scream it doesn't scream carolyn it really doesn't but i went back to a time where i was like i really love valentino shoes they always were so comfortable i had a pair of rock studs that i sold at some point but i love those too i was like you know what i feel like this is a really classic looking shoe but I've barely worn, I probably worn them like twice, okay? So I figured, let me style them with some socks and an outfit that I'm not typically known for wearing, but I actually been wanting to try more and more mini skirts. And I I felt like I saw this outfit in my head and I'm like, oh, I could definitely like rock that at like a, like a branded event or something, something like a beauty brand event. Um, very clean cut for spring, summer and also give me an opportunity to just like show my legs a little bit more. So let's see if this works. All right, oh boy, let's see, let's see. I have this skirt on from Aritzia and I have the Frankie Shop uh, button down and then I got these, I got a, a big pack of these socks from Amazon that I was like, Ooh, that, are slightly thin they have a little bit of a scallop at the rim of the like right here at the top i hope this doesn't bunch up too much oh my gosh this is really taking me back to like my <laughs> catholic schoolgirl days oh my god <laughs> what would little maria say for those of you that don't know my middle name is maria and a lot of people and my family and my college friends call me Maria, but Carolyn is my first name. Um, okay, I'm not mad at this. It is out of the box for me, but this looks like my cookie bag. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, let me grab it. Where's my bag? But can you like, even with the, even with this, cause of the gold in the shoe, even with the, it's giving K-pop cuteness, but either one could work. I do like this. I never, I've never really worn socks with shoes in this way before. But I also saw, I want like a pink pair of these socks to wear like a really light lilac-y pink to wear with my white pumps from Louis Vuitton. I think this is a really cute setup. I need to get more comfortable with wearing my legs out and like my knees. I don't really like my knees. I know a lot of people don't like their knees. Like they look like baby faces um, when you stand back. <laughs> but I do want to get more comfortable with wearing like shorter skirts and, or things that show my legs a little bit more. Not so much shorts, unless it's a hot pant, because certain level shorts, it bunches up in my crotch and I don't like that when I'm walking. But I think this is a really sweet look. It's very light and gray. Okay, all right, I have one more outfit for the Mary Janes, hold on. And so I literally had a capri pant that I wanted to wear with this second option, but I cannot find it. Um, maybe it's stored in my summer stuff and I'm just mistaken, but while I was looking for the capri pant, the Zara outfit that I just received, um, that I just got like a couple weeks ago, slid out from the cubby. And I was like, actually, yes, yes. Can you, okay. I feel like she's a moment. I feel like this is a moment and I have it without the socks this time and just the shimmer two piece setup in this Un Femme jacket that has like the peekaboo, the peekaboo um, holes in the jacket, which I think is really lovely. This is a black owned brand, by the way. But I feel like this 
I'm comfortable wearing my hot shorts with a jacket like this, but I feel like the, the shoes bring it back to like this classic aesthetic. And it's like, when you see me from the side, she's very regal. She's regal, she pays her bills on time. But then when you get in front, you're like, oh my God, wreaking havoc in the streets, but you like to see it. I think it's a good combination. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what I had in mind when I put this outfit together. Obviously, like this outfit originally I had in my mind with a open toe shoe, but this works also. So like for those times where I'm not pedicured and ready to go and I have something to do and have to look snazzy for, this would be a really cute outfit go-to. Okay, Mary Jane's, ankle Mary Jane's. I, I really, I mean, I knew that I've loved these. I just felt like I haven't given them enough time. And now I'm starting to see, especially with the socks, it gives something else. There's something very sweet about it that I'm not particularly known to wear certain sweet things like this. But I, it gives me a little bit of like a, I don't know. I feel soft. But don't get it twisted. Okay, so another pair of shoes that I was having trouble with are from The Real Real. These are Givenchy lace-up, almost like short kitten heel, little pump. And I thought that they were just so sweet and quaint. Another sweet shoe that, you know, I'm like, I love how it looks. To me, it was very 90s. It kind of reminded me of a pair of shoes that I had when I was a little girl, but like the adult version. And that's what attracted me to them. I'm pairing it back to some old faithful jeans. Um, but I'm actually feeling like they're not really a shoe that you want to hide under a pant leg like this, huh? But I mean, when you're sitting down, it's pretty. No, no, no. Let me let me get another pair of jeans to go with this. I actually. Let's do a straight leg, my favorite pair of Silver Lake jeans. I wear them all the time. Let's switch into that. Yeah, see, you can see them a lot better with a pair of jeans like this. Instead of something so long and lengthy, you can get into the lace-up aesthetic. And you know what? I got this calf hair blazer from Arcade, which is actually doing a pop-up in New York in the Dylan Lex store in West Village. And I did content with this jacket and had to go back and I was just like, y'all, I need that. So she's been getting rocked a lot. Even with like my cashmere sweaters on the top is like a, as a, what's it called? As a scarf. I've been rocking with this. It's so good. I think because this is not a pair of shoes that it's like too out there and too outlandish. I feel like this is very classic. I feel like this is very 90s. I would do a very deep V t-shirt just for an extra layer underneath this. But if I'm wearing something that's a little bit slimmer to the body on the bottom, I'm going to go with something a little bit more oversized and billy on the top. I don't do tight on tight. But this makes me feel really safe. I feel like I look really chic. Like very 90s. Wanna go out for a mocktail with me? Yes. I think this is very sweet. This is something I I think I feel like I paired them up with a pair of jeans like this, but didn't pair it back with like a oversized jacket. I think I was trying to keep it cutesy all the way through. And that's what was giving me a hesitation. But, you know, as simple as this outfit is, I feel very comfortable. I feel very um, cool in it. And I'll just throw in like a pair of like silver frames, shades, and call it a day. This is also something I would go to like a really chill event to, you know, um, you know, like go to view a panel in or something like that. Go to dinner with my friends if this is a fit that I would do. But yeah. She's cute. She's cute. What other outfit combination did I have for this shoe? Let's see. I have everything written down here. Oh, I actually had this jacket paired with the black, with the gap jeans, but this with an oversized blazer. You know what else I could pair this with? And these jeans, 
another favorite go-to. It's actually a go-to of ours, of a lot of ours, actually. A lot of us have this sweater. Hold on. The way that I'm making an absolute mess of the bedroom right now, playing dress up, it's so much fun, though. Okay, so this was another combination, I thought, in my mind, especially for, like, fall, winter, end of spring, since it's still, like, cold outside. It's ridiculous. Um, the Frankie Shop oversized sweater and I think they also make this in navy um I feel like the navy wasn't as rich as I would want it to but I feel like certain navies need to be like darker for me not with a tad of dust to it if you know what I'm saying so I didn't pick up that one but this is really cute and cozy she's having a moment hold on yeah. you want to go get coffee with me a matcha, you say? I love matcha. Yeah. I mean, I've been wearing this sweater to death. It's so good. I wear it under my big old oversized jackets. It's super cozy to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I need to get a dry clean because around your wrist is getting a little cruddy. Like, girl, get your shit together and clean your clothes. Um, but it's to me, I just throw it on so easily over things and just hit the ground running. So I really do love this combination. This is very, she's, it's very, this shoe, although I think this was like a couple of years ago, I don't remember which um, collection this was from, and it is just meeting the end of my heel there. But um, it's very 90s, these shoes, and that's what I really liked about them. But yeah, okay, how many more items do we have? Because I have to get going to the gym in a bit. Um, I have... Two more items, two more accessories, one shoe and one bag. All right, okay, so this is another bag um, that I received as a Christmas gift, actually late 2022. So I rolled it into the 2023 category of things I don't wear. It's a stawed beaded bag. Honestly, they're beautiful. They really are. I also have this in like a black and white zebra print. I love the interior. This bag is really dope. Don't get me twisted. Like I love this bag. The thing about it is I realized within that winter season, this is not the type of bag that you can just throw in with a jacket because it has that slide off. I don't like shoulder bags that slide off my jackets. What is the point of you being a shoulder bag? I don't mean to talk bad about you, but like you really can't grip onto things like, like I think you should. So let me see how I compare this up with something else in my closet for spring, summer, because we need to wear her. She's a nice gift. I want to use this and the colors are fantastic. So let me see what I have. Okay, so I have this line by K um, dress, which it's not ironed. And like I said, please don't judge me because I'm just trying these things on for my closet. And then I'm pairing it with a pair, a pair of Mary Jane Black ballet flats, which are you know, I love the combination of the two. I don't like them separately on their own. <laughs> like, I don't like a regular ballerina shoe and I don't like a regular Mary Jane shoe, but like, I like something with like a cool toe. And I have this um, cut out line by K dress. I will tell y'all the truth about this dress. I had to pin it on the side. I got my normal size. It's super big and it really, it like, it's so low in the back here that I had to pin it. I'm gonna take it to my lady at Alteration Specialist to see what she can do to kind of bring it up. Because if you're wearing boots or something that creates a friction with the dress as you're walking, if I didn't have leggings on the night of Valentine's Day, my whole ass would have came out at the restaurant because it got caught up in the boots that I was wearing and my dress in the back fell down. But anyway, I do like the dress, but I need to get it fixed. But I was thinking something like this would be the jam. And I also feel like holding the bag this way makes a big difference too, because I have this grip on the side and I just feel like black with this big old pop of color, like let the bag just stand out and be its own story. I also feel like, you know, the white shoe at the bottom, it gives a bit of edge to it. I think it's super cool and cute. Yeah. I would be comfortable wearing a tank top, a long sleeve like this, a dress. Not too many bulky things with this particular bag because she doesn't like to stay on the shoulder. She's very soft lined. It's leather underneath this, underneath here, but 
it's too soft, but I do like this combination. I think it's really cute and quirky. Um, but yeah, this dress just wants to like drag down so badly. And I'm like, my ass is not that cute to be shown off like that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have my, my ass out anyway, but I have one more combo that I think would look cute. And it is with a slight, it's with a jacket, but not as bulky. So let me see how that plays out. Okay, so I figured this would be a hit also because I've been, I literally wore this outfit yesterday just around the house to work from home. And I was like, yeah, let me see what the bag looks like with this. It's cute. It's cute. I paired it back with the, um, the Bottega uh, sandals. And yeah, I'm really, I like this combo. This makes sense to me. Yeah, because of the blues, it's a nice play. I feel like. This is a very neutral outfit for spring summer. It plays into the Western trend as well, but like the whole denim on denim, she's a vibe, she's a kick, and I do like the bag with this whole getup. And because it's not such a bulky jacket, it actually has a pretty good grip, but I do feel like I'm still going to have to whip her around like this because she just wants to slide off and piss me off. Like that's all it is. But if it's like I'm going to brunch, which I don't normally do, I'm actually not a brunch person, but if I'm going out really quickly into the city with Carlos, like I feel like this would be really sweet. And plus he got it for me because I asked for it. So I need to wear it when I'm with him. So this would be a very chill, you know, she's grown, but she likes to have fun. That's what it's giving. Yeah, I'm really comfortable in this whole fit and I feel like this is a good combination. The last... The last item is a pair of shoes that I told y'all something about her pisses me off, but let's see if I can figure her out right now, okay? So it's these Gia Bujunini, y'all know what I'm saying, boots in this suede tan color. I mean, it, it's great for right now with this Western core popping off, but it's something about her that is like, two like goody two shoes corporate baddie to me and i'm i'm just not this girl but i really like the shape of the boot but i couldn't find it in black and i saw these on super duper sale so i was like why not why not so anyway we're here now let me figure out an outfit i don't even have anything written down because that's how much of a hardship this is so we're leaving off with a banger let's see if she's gonna get sold or not so this denim jacket is getting a lot of play today and rightfully so rightfully so I'm not mad at this at all, actually. Um, if I have a Western core event to go to or if it feels rural for the aesthetic, I, this could work. This could work. You know, I love doing different things with my my denim jackets. I love doing an over shoulder. I love doing just the top button and letting it flow or doing a little funky button situation. But, you know, I got this old um, Banana Republic mini skirt. The battery's dying. I got this. It's a vibe. She's a vibe. I'm here for it. I'm not mad at it at all, actually. Let me try something else. Because she is giving something. She's not so annoying as we started. Okay. It's just been a long time since I've had um boots that fit me like this so maybe that's why i was like girl it's giving circa 2006 when we first got here i don't know if that was me then and i don't know if it's me now but i'm feeling it right now i'm not mad at this now let me be very clear this is the type of outfit that most people will be like what are you thinking and let me tell you something i have my days when i'm really i do not give a damn what i like is what i like i have on a pair of biker shorts from kith jacket from Zara, my cookie bag, and these boots. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. I feel really comfortable in my skin with this. I've been doing a lot more <clears throat> quirky combinations that just don't make sense to someone probably looking at me. But honestly, it's just something about like, how you doing? Let's go party. Um, This ain't Texas, baby. Like, I don't know. I feel like this is something that I just kind of dig. Um, it looks like even just a regular shirt dress at this point, which is pretty cute. I do have another fringe jacket in a very deep burgundy. 
and I feel like it can go really well with this too. I just can't find it right now, but she's giving, she's neutral toned. I'm really into this moment right here. And you know what? I just realized this is a type of boot that this is her moment right now. <laughs> Beyonce said Western Core. She said, this is, this is my season. Y'all didn't know I was coming for this season, but this is my season. So all in all, I think I have kind of proved myself right. I feel that I have a newfound appreciation for these items that I've been having hesitations with for a while because I've paired them with statement pieces, pieces that I love, pieces that are really exciting to me right now, and it blends well. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason for some of the for some of the um matchups because some of them are just not like this this particular matchup like who yeah this doesn't really make sense it doesn't have to fashion personal style does not have to make sense to anyone but you but i do think that when we have troubled pieces in our wardrobe that we initially were very excited for and impulsively bought without thinking through all the combinations that we probably have um you know we learned we learned today that just trying and seeing really can do a world of wonders for somebody. Also, yeah, I'm putting up that Saint Laurent blazer up for sale because it's just, it's not good. It's not a good fit for me. If you are smaller than me, I'm a size small. I'm 5'5". Five five. I weigh 136 pounds. Um, I wear a size four typically, size smalls in Zara and things of that nature. If you are if you are an extra small, go ahead and get that. $89 plus shipping. I'm just that jacket, I I thought I was gonna do so much more with it. I had a lot more ideas with it when I first bought it, and it just went out the window. It's not really a good fit. So everything else will be staying. I'm excited actually about it because I feel like it's a newfound appreciation or just new vibes around it and yeah listen if you guys have trouble pieces in your wardrobe try it with something that you just wouldn't really expect try it do juxtaposition try something completely outside the box with it try it with your favorite other favorite items that you have and see what kind of magic happens also if there is something that you want me to um help you with on like one of the membership videos if you want to just send me an inquiry with a picture of the item just so I can get like a really a good idea of what it is and if you have a certain question around it I'll answer in the membership side as well if you want me to we are doing that on that side of the cookie jar but I hope y'all enjoyed today's videos I hope this resonates with y'all I think we all have pieces in our wardrobe that give us a little bit of a headache and I hope that this inspired you to just try something new before completely letting go as we're going into the spring summer season where I know a lot of us are starting to are starting to reset, flip out our closets and purge a lot of things. So before you get rid of something, give it a little bit of extra love and a chance and see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I'll see y'all later, cookies. Bye.